exposure, outcome and other important variables. Most in research things are pretty abstract so it's always better to have some practical examples. So if the question is, if a stress causes hypertension or high blood pressure in males and females. So from research point of view, here is stress is an exposure variable and blood pressure reading is an outcome variable whereas gender however is a confounding variable. Technically, stress is a qualitative or categorical type of variable that has certain gradings of severity so called ordinal as well. Blood pressure on the other hand is a quantitative type of variable and it can take many indefinite values so it's a continuous non-integer type of variable. Male or female is a nominal variable that has two unrelated or distinct categories hence it's a dichotomous or non-ordinal type of categorical variable. The details of different types of variable has been discussed in the video link given below. There are two main types of variables, an outcome variable and an exposure variable. So if a research question is if stress causes hypertension or high blood pressure, then high blood pressure is the outcome variable and the level of stress is the exposure variable. The value of outcome variable relies on changes in the exposure variable. For example, Blood pressure can go up when stress levels are high and blood pressure can reduce or go down when the level of stress is low. You must not forget that the exposure variable is independent or not influenced by any other variable. Different names for exposure and outcome variables. Outcome variables is known by several other names like outcome or dependent variable, response variable, regress and measured variable observed variable, target variables or output variables. Similarly, exposure variables can be also called as exposure, explanatory, independent, predictor variable, regressors, control variable, manipulated variable or input variable. Variables that are held fixed or constant throughout the experiment or study are called constant or control variables. For example, if you want to measure the differences in time between the ice cubes as they melt after shifting their positions, then keeping ice cube sizes and shapes fixed or constant would give accurate differences between the cubes as they all started out melting at the same time. Variables are deliberately held constant depending on what the research aim is. Mediators or mediating variables explain the process as to how or why an effect or an outcome takes place. For example, unhealthy lifestyles can cause increased serum cholesterol levels which can then cause heart problems. So serum cholesterol level is a mediating variable which is part of the causal pathway of an effect of an outcome and in this case heart problems. Confounding variable. A confounder is one which is independently associated with the exposure variable and also independently associated with the outcome variable. For example, if you want to study whether alcohol is associated with lung cancer. A sample of people who consume high levels of alcohol tend to have higher incidence of lung cancers. This could also be influenced by confounding variable like in this case smoking. People who indulge into too much alcohol are more likely to smoke than those who do not. Smoking which is independently associated with both the exposure as well as outcome variable therefore confound the relationship between alcohol consumption and lung cancer. Moderators affect the strength as well as direction of the outcome and exposure variable relationship. Moderators are the hidden unseen processes. For example, a student own learning capabilities, intelligence and parental education level which are the complex unknown factors can increase or decrease the strength of relationship between teacher lessons and student grades.